Good morning, girl. Today we're here with Cheryl from Makar and Karis, who will be joining me in learning how to make a bridal bouquet. Okay, so we're gonna start today. First, we need a vase of water. For today, we're gonna use Haley's roses and carnation. And for the pillars, we're gonna use rustus and burst alpini. And then we're gonna start the center of the flowers. Mm -hmm. So is the center flower always the biggest? Always the biggest and the nicest flowers you can get. I'm gonna start to cover it with pillars. Okay, and then I'm gonna start to put roses. Just a little bit lower than the lilies. The most important thing we just have to know where's the neck of the flowers. And then we're gonna use pillars in between of the roses. What styles do you usually make for your bride? Rustic. Yeah, rustic. Oh, rustic. It's an English style. It's the trend it's now, the trend right? Yeah. Some of the customers they only want roses as well. Okay. Uh, so so roses are still very popular for a bridal bouquet. Yeah, roses. Roses is very popular. How about pillars? The price is quite higher compared to I think other kind of flowers. Chinese are really beautiful yeah, though. That's like my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> even yeah, even though it's just like a bunch of peonies, I think that's Yeah, before it blooms it's just this size before it blooms. Uh, anyway, it blooms it becomes like very something. big. Yeah. Yeah. Continue with another type of flowers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use a carnation. This is not as easy as, as it, it looks. looks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually using a lot of strength here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how do you know how much fillers to use? It depends. I used to put this in between of the roses. Oh, okay. So it will pop up. And then you have to know which part of it you're going to face yeah. you and the crop. Okay, you're going to continue to put another flower and fillers. Uh, this is burst alpini. Burst alpini. So this one you just put it where's the front front of your frontage of your bouquet. See, can I see? See? It look nice. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna close it with this eucalyptus. Mm. As the outer of the bouquet. Another tip that you can use is to use the mirror mm. to look at your bouquet. Mm. Okay, just take the wire strap and then you just pull it until it's tight. I'm gonna cut here. Okay, to cover this stem, it's either you're gonna use natural string mm -hmm. or you're gonna use ribbon. Okay. So when it's done, you just put it in the box and just nice. bring it to the bride. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> How do you do? Cars with flying colors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys uh, did very well. <laughs> but yeah, of course, practice not perfect. <laughs> now we think. I know I can make my own bouquet, <laughs> so it's cost saving as well. Yeah. 